Hello, Tanse. It's me, Lance Cardinal from the Treaty 8 Big Stone Cree Nation. I'm so excited to be here today at IKEA in the Indigenous Peoples Family Showcase to talk about National Indigenous Peoples Day. Such an important day for me and all the people in the First Nations, Métis and Inuit community. And I'm so excited because this day is the day we celebrate who we are, our culture, our traditions, and of course, our place here on Mother Earth. This day is about knowledge exchange, knowledge translation. This day is about teaching about who we are as Ulnug. Ulnug are um, Mi'kmaq, who we call the people of our land here. And this day is about sharing our way of life, um, sharing about who we are as people, um, how we may live, um, how our knowledge is transformed into objects and art and um, you know, magnifying the importance of our knowledge on pieces of art. So that's very important. Well, being a part of this uh, amazing family showcase room we have here at IKEA was such an amazing experience for me and of course the family who was involved. And it was so important, of course, to have representation here at IKEA for Indigenous people, to have something here that was uh, recognizable for our people, to see ourselves being represented, and of course to share who we are with the whole world. This partnership means a lot. Um, it really means that we're bringing t like two of our worlds together, basically. It means that we are trying to understand our perspectives, trying to understand where our worldview come from, and how these worldviews converge into a place that makes it a welcoming place for Indigenous people, but also a welcoming place for other people to come to IKEA, for example. So that's part of what this partnership is about. And also, you know, talking about what it is we can do to make those processes take place. How do we have the conversation, for example? Um, how do we engage with our community? How do we consult with, um, with who to consult and how do we consult with making those first steps? So this is about that partnership and making things happen. So that's important. Well, you know, a lot of people who come through the room that I've spoken to who are from our First Nations, Métis or Inuit community feel so excited to see ourselves being represented. There's so much pride in their heart. They talk about um, just feeling like we finally belong. We're finally part of, uh, you know, Canadian culture. And, and it, it's one step closer towards reconciliation, you know, towards having um, a place in this society that is equal, uh, that is celebrated in a good way. And, and I think for us as Indigenous people, it's been a very positive experience. It's an amazing uh, opportunity to highlight who we are as Mi'kmaq in a space like this, where people can see themselves in um, a big, big company like this. We're taking responsibility in sharing who we are, but also welcoming a place where we can be who we are. One of the important pieces about this project is about relationship building. It's about community engagement. It is about um, consulting properly and how to consult with our community in, let's say, building knowledge around who we are or sharing knowledge of who we are as Ulnuk. So those are ways um, in which IKEA did an excellent job in reaching out to our community because basically it's based on relationships, right? Well, you know what? I think my favorite part of this room is the fact that there's language here, like sharing Cree language and syllabics, like on the walls, in the cupboards, you know, on the shelves, all over the place. Sharing those words and those syllabics are so important to us to keep that language alive. And the language is, you know, the voice of our people. It's the, it's the voice of the spirit world. It's the voice of the people on the planet right now. My mom, during her later mid years, began to take up basket making again. So she started with baskets and ash baskets and then you know, making sure that the baskets were um, a process of bringing knowledge back into our community. And so she started teaching basket making in Millbrook, for example. She started teaching basket making with people who are young and youth and children. She started with our family. So that was an important thing that you would see in our living room or in our spaces, in our place. So that was very important. So. We sadly lost our mother um, back in 2010, but just, a, just about um, you know, three weeks before her passing, she had given me a Christmas gift, which was her last basket. And that basket is a porcupine quill basket um, with birch bark. 
And it's something that's very meaningful. And with that, started my collection with the rest of the pieces that I have here. The way I'm going to celebrate National Indigenous Peoples Day is how I always do, which is sharing our love and spirituality of our culture with everybody. You know, doing my best to, to promote positivity for Indigenous people, to share who we are in a good way, and to continue to, you know, interact with every community I can, especially non-Indigenous communities, to find ways to bridge that, that, that uh, understanding of each other, to find ways to connect and to really, you know, uh, meet each other in the middle and I think that the best part about National Indigenous Peoples Day is finding those things for ourselves. How can we celebrate National Indigenous Peoples Day? How can we learn something new about the Indigenous people in our community and reach out to them and go to their events? So I just think this is an, an amazing opportunity for everybody this time of the year to really celebrate Indigenous people, learn more about Indigenous people and be a part of our community whenever you can.